Alright. The microphone issue is fixed. Now, you're probably complaining about my weird voice in the last part. I am so sorry, people. Anyway, this is the final part of Spyro 3. Year of the Dragon. Joining me today is the AFH-013. Don't be too upset that he's been here for too long, certain people. He's a good Game commentator. <laughs> All right. <laughs> I get featured a comment like, ha ha lol, very funny Al. <laughs> some bullshit. Anyway, so this is the epilogue. This is the epilogue, yep. Yeah. Um, <laughs> this is, well, well, more importantly, this is the skill points. Uh, well, actually, no, sorry, yeah. not more importantly. What the L fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> very much less importantly, this is the skill points. So we've got the 20 skill points that we got here, which is excellent. Actually, is it more than 20? Wait, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Wait a minute. Okay, so we got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10, 15, Ten. 20. Oh, right. Okay, sorry. Yep, cool. Easy. So that's, that's all the skill points. We did them pretty simply. And now we get the epilogue by pressing the circle button here. So what the epilogue is is like very much from what it was in the first game, uh, the second game, sorry. Basically, just gives you kind of, yeah, it was an, an epilogue. is like a conclusion, I guess, of sorts. Um, and you just get these little kind of, I don't know, inside, not inside jokes, but I guess inside jokes within the game's humor, uh, within right. the game's sort of stuff. So, for example, we've got, you know, here, Nancy wins gold, uh, featuring the, you know, the, the, the boxes there that are in Bentley's outpost. How sad is it that I recognize that they're the exact same ones? That They're, they're the Bentley's outpost things. Can you see that? Oh, well, yeah, you're right. You know, you push them, yeah. you know, and you, yeah, so that's just sad. Oh, yeah, that's right, Jesus. Yeah, they, they couldn't even, like, make a put, well, well, I don't know, yeah. Um, I guess it makes sense, I guess it makes sense in a way, they're just using what they found, you know what I mean? Exactly, I mean, it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, right. you got Nancy wins gold, um, not much to say about that, it, it gets more important as you go on, I guess. Mm -hmm. The dreaded curse of the tail snake comes true. Um, I guess that's meant to be some kind of, like, you know, thing about, well, you know, uh, Agent Nine is in that level. That's right. And, you know, uh, and, you know, something, this, yeah, some, some bullshit. You know. uh, <laughs> the seals, the seals invent the sport of squid boarding. Now, this is the only thing I didn't show, actually. Now, there's an awesome hack, or no, awesome cheat in this game where you can actually ride on a squid, very similar to that, in that level. Uh, and that's really quite cool. I guess it's like, it's another, yet another crossover between the levels, uh, you know, Enchanted Towers and Seashell Shore. Yeah, I love that. And not it's only that, good. I mean, not only that, uh, Enchanted Towers also has the whole, the whole, you know, Oog, Og, what is his, what is his name again? The uh, Oog, the um, the guys from Scaleless Badlands, they're in the level. You know, oh, yeah, the, Ooga or, or Tuk or... That's it, one of them, yeah, one of them yeah, which I always thought was great. Um, yeah. There we go. The game of Whacker Bentley is born. Now, justified revenge here. Justified revenge. You yeah, know. I, I love how those little rodents are just like are now three times the size that they actually yeah. are. <laughs> yeah, they, they, the the real that's that's the mother one that was hiding. Yeah, I was gonna there say. I think that's what it's supposed to be. It's supposed to be the mother. It's like I'm thing. gonna get you. Yeah, exactly. Um, there we go. Then we got a Rhinoc prima donna entertains Cloud Spies. <laughs> that's very random. Yep. I like it. All right, here we go. The Bailey gang finds an easy target. Yeah, damn right. This is meant to be like, you know, the stick em up western of style course. thing or whatever. Got one of the most, does, do they usually have bandanas over their uh, mouths like that? Uh, no, no they're, they're meant to be, they're, they're, um, they're under there, as you can see on the guy on the right. Remember, they're meant to be just like hanging under them. They're not, they're not yeah, over their yeah. face, no. That's, yeah, well, yeah, changed. so they just changed that. That's cool. I like okay. that. Maybe, I like, well, yeah, it's meant to maybe, be like maybe that. Maybe it was a separate model, who knows? So. Yeah, it could be. It could be. Or, or they might, might have just thought, okay, I would just try and draw it on or yeah. something instead of, you know. Um, Wait, do you want to mention about the, the whole uh, uh, Lost, no, not Lost, sorry, uh, Dino Mines, how it's like a big, you know, uh, time crisis thing and all that. I just thought I'd mention Oh, yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I'll just get back to that. Sorry, yeah. yeah. You bring but, that okay. up, actually, yeah. Yeah, yeah, well, um, I, th I figured that, like, people would like to know that the whole Agent 9 challenge in Dynamines is, is basically, it's a huge Time Crisis, rip well, not rip off, but I guess homage in a way, because if you've ever played Time Crisis, then you'll see, like, it's, it's heavily inspired by Time Crisis, and even the skill point is inspired by Time Crisis, because in Time Crisis, I've said Time Crisis, like, three times there, but what happens is, when you're playing through the game, you'll have these, like, 
I like to call them coward enemies who appear like in the corner of the screen for like three seconds. And if you if you shoot them, then you get like a time second bonus. So in Spyro 3, what they did was they had like this dinosaur appear really quickly. And if you shoot him, you get a skill point. So it's definitely a homage to Time yeah, Crisis. That's definitely, that's yeah, that's definitely true. Yeah, I mean, I played, I remember playing Time Crisis in like the arcades. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, and, yeah, yeah, yeah I, it did, it definitely... Uh, got past me i mean i i was thinking yeah this isn't obviously the original thing there is such there is like a game where it's like this thing where you you run through like on rails kind of shooter exactly. style yeah. unfortunately right. the most recent ape escape game to be released is exactly that it's an on rails uh on rails shooter which is a lot of fucking uh, bullshit but that's yeah. another story um yeah. here comes a really good one ted price eat your heart out boy here it is oh god zoe and amy Compete for Sparks' affection. Now, ah, Ted Price is Sparks. There you have it. It all makes sense now. <laughs> oh, 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 my God. Oh, shit. Yeah. But, yeah. so, is Amy... Oh, that's right. Yeah, Amy's the one in... Um, in uh, What's the level called again? Shit. Uh, Charmed yeah, no, Rich. Charmed sure, Rich. No, they had a, a level based around fairies. I'm sure Ted Price was just, like, whacking it to that one, like... <laughs> I <laughs> That's brilliant. Well, I, no one, did I explain this Perry thing to your audience? I don't think I did. Um, I think you briefly mentioned it. Basically, it's the stuff about how they Oliver Wade kind of made like a joke about how he. That attend- wasn't a joke. It was like an outright statement, like that he made. Like he was talking about how Zoe used to look more cute or whatever that means, and then Ted Price told him to make her look more sexy. That's so. right, yeah, that's right. Which is funny because, you know, there was the whole controversy around Crash Bandicoot 1 with Torna yeah. being like... Yeah. It's not the same thing, though. Oh, like, no, very much so. Like, Torna's got, like, a huge yeah. chest. But, you know, like, yeah. this is way more... And she was way more of, like... She was bent, meant to be a um, a Baywatch. What's the woman called again? Pam Anderson. That's right, of course, her. Yeah. So, well, yeah, where well, this is way... Yeah, this is, like, no, no problem at all. But... Exactly. I quite like the rainbow-coloured wings. I didn't notice them before. I don't think that... I think that's an artwork exclusive thing, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it could be. Now, yeah. also, take... Um, have in... What's the word for it? Um, bear in mind? Yeah, bear in mind. Look at the background there. It's a completely different colour. It's, like, meant to be, like, getting darker now or in the morning. See, it's, like, an evening or afternoon sky instead of the regular sky. That's right. That's you see right. that? And I really like that. Um, yeah. As Joe Hindenlang, Mr. XX Badass, Pro Gamers XX, what a username, as he pointed out, uh, well, as he's working on with his Spyro hack with the change in the backgrounds and stuff like that, uh, it really does change the, the style of a level by by just changing the background slightly. Uh, that's for yeah, sure. Def- yeah, Joe Hindenburg, what a guy. What a guy. Deputy Holiday catches the notorious yeah, 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 gang. I guess that's what it's meant to be. Yep. There we go. Very nice. What's that little box thing on the left? Oh, it's a lock. All right. Yeah, yeah, the lock. Yeah, it's kind of in between the things. It's a bit hard to see. Uh, yeah. Oh, here, here we go. Oh, this is Nasty Nork and Ripto hold a summit to discuss the Spyro problem. I love that. I love the fact yeah, that we yeah. get to see basically well a very you know average kind of picture because I guess because it's like not like a proper animated uh, image or anything like that but look we get to see a Spyro 3 un- incarnation of Nasty Nork and uh, Ripto yeah that's awesome yeah, yeah. Do you know, notice how uh, I, I'll tell you this this is the, this is how geeky I am uh, I noticed that he's kind of a bit more of a darker kind of a bit more of a natural green in this picture than he is in the game in Spyro 1 because Spyro hey, 1 was a lot Nork. more washed out in terms yeah, of colours you, na- you mean Nasty Nork right sorry Nasty Nork yeah exactly yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. There we go, and there's Ripto, and they've got a crate. Uh, that crate is basically just a, a, a stretched and bigger version of the minecart crate that you sca- you destroy in. Uh, yeah, Dynamines. Yeah. In uh, yeah, and also um, what's the level called again? What's it called? Ah, uh, Breeze Harbor. That's it. It's yeah. basically like a stretched oh, yeah, version. Breeze Harbor. Jesus. Yeah, you're right. Bah. Yep. Look there you go. There's your um the crop circle country. Uh, yeah, NPC. inspiration. Yeah, yeah exactly. I, honestly, believe yeah. it or not, but I actually yeah, I get a way more crop circle country vibe than I do a Spyro th- like a than I do a country speedway vibe. Like that, that's yeah, hilarious because you know in terms of that game, and then yeah, we you got. You totally looked at the epilogue. Like, oh, of course, yeah, of course. Like, yeah. 
you know, there's no there's no question that the the people that played that made Enter the Dragonfly. And this is for a discussion for the upcoming LP, but they they were definitely fans of Spyro. Whether they did a good job yeah. that is in question, but you know, they definitely were fans. Well, and they then, did. well, yeah, many many will say. And, and many I agree with Alex Shadow. Like Alex Shadow made a good point. Like he said that even if they were given time, they probably still would have fucked shit up because there's some really basic things which they didn't do, like the whole back face calling thing, which which is why the loading times take so long because of course they, yeah the loading is this back yeah. face call which is like dumb but yeah uh hunter 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 sorry discovers hunter, babysitting yeah. is harder than it looks and yep it, it is now which one of those is uh bianca's son or daughter oh god okay and then we got Thank you for playing we'll miss you with a nice a really cool picture actually of all the gang oh, there my- and Caboose Miller is now just screaming, my memories. My memories. Yeah, this so is it's a, fantastic. A collective scream of my childhood goes across the world now. <laughs> yeah, ex- exactly. Yeah. The, the, now that is a really that is a really nice picture. I'll get I'll get it's it up again. Picture. I will I will stop being a dick and say that it is a touch. No, it is. Picture. It really is. No, it is. I, I remember when when I first did the epilogue, I was like, oh, this is this is freaking awesome. Do you know what I mean? Like this is like really. Like a really like I, I love the epilogue and I think that it's a I think it is a good reward for playing the game and also I think that in many ways it's almost better than the it's what well, better than the final boss that's for sure. Yeah, it's yeah, it is. Yeah, a lot better down. than the final boss. So yeah, that that's uh that is Spire Three. Now I like it how they chose to they chose Evening Lake to have their background picture in there. Yeah. Interesting. Um, but yeah, that's that. Oh wait, is no okay. That's all good. No, I was just saying. Uh, What's the name? Look, the the background looks. Yeah, it's a different. I think it's a different color background again. But yeah, that's that's Spyro three. Believe it or not. Oh, pay attention. Uh, pay attention to um, Bianca and Hunter holding hands. There you go. Nintendo freak, calm down. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, yeah. Thank you, Nintendo freak. It's all good. We know you love this stuff. Um, but yeah, and not just you. There's plenty of uh, There's plenty more of you. There are dozens of you. Um. Mm. So yeah, that's it. That's Spyro 3. Can you believe it? It has came to an end. I started this LP, I think it was like the day after Christmas or something like that, uh, 2013. So I did start this LP in 2013, I'm pretty sure. Um, mm-hmm. And now now it's that's it. It's, it's no more. Actually, can you have a quick look real quick just to see what day it was actually uploaded? I'm very curious. Th- All right. I shall do that. That'd be good. Thank you. Uh, cause just because yeah. I, can't, I can't exit the screen. But- of course. Let's have a look. This is this is this is the big this is the big moment just to see exactly when it was made, but uh, when I uploaded it. But yeah, it's been a fantastic LP. I think I've really enjoyed it. I think it's been one of my favorites. I mean, Spyro was always going to be. It's always going to be a good LP when you get Spyro and you get and you get kind of like the people that I know and, and kind of the passion for the game. You know, and everyone that's been on the commentary. So I think that you know it. It you're obviously going to get something good, but I think this LP we really did go leaps and bounds to try and bring good new information, good analysis, like a bit, a bit of everything really. Um, and, you know, yeah. of course, discussion about, you know, Bill Clinton and Instagram comments, you know, to just... That's to, right, yeah, to, you, to, you to, can't beat that. You can't beat that, no, uh, in the yep. words of Enzo Amore. Oh, you can't teach that, sorry. You can't yep. teach You can't teach that. Man, I, he, he can't teach, yeah, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll reference him. But, yeah, uh, I, I just see, like, I'm back on the first part, I see my, my comments, like... Like from the beginning, I think I must have. I watched every damn part of this LP and all that much, so yeah, yeah I stuck with it till the end. But yep, yeah, it was on. Well, you're gonna be surprised. It was the second of October, twenty thirteen. Spyro three. Yep. You sure? No, nah, I'm joking. Yeah, Jesus <laughs> Christ! What the hell? Now, twenty ninth of December. Twenty nine is my number, so. Yeah, 29th yeah, twenty ninth of December. Fantastic. Twenty thirteen. Yep. Wow. Okay. Well, there we go. So it actually has been a long LP, but there was a lot of times there was a huge gap because I hadn't uploaded and stuff like that. But yeah, other than that, the, for the past like three or two or three months, it has been pretty much like all all in order. You know, three or four or five days to wait per part. So it's been very good. Um, and yeah, unfortunately, as you can tell now, I'm really just fluffing because I don't want this to end because I'm very very disappointed that it's going to be ended. But I think that uh, you know, obviously, Spyro isn't done on this channel that's for sure even if you know the the subsequent games aren't as good that's for sure uh i think the commentary can remain very interesting because we can discuss now that we've got to, now that we've done the best of spyro now we get to do what didn't land and and what i think what led to its 
overall reboot and and death i guess at the end of the day yeah. spyro was dead uh you mm-hmm. know the skylanders uh, it sounds dramatic but that isn't that simply isn't spyro um it simply is just the name spyro and yeah. n- neither is the legend of spyro so don't fucking ask me to do a legend of spyro op because i'm not doing that bullshit but i will do you know uh hero's tale and enter the dragonfly and maybe even the gba games because they're something that are commonly overlooked and actually add to the storyline a little bit more than you'd expect. So that's it. So don't don't be don't be sad, yeah. children. Wipe away those tears. Get the Kleenexes you said, out. You said Spyro's dead, which reminds me of like Ratchet Five. Oh yeah, that channel. <laughs> like yeah. troll account. Like yeah, in case any, if anyone remembers Die Spyro and Spyro's dead, then that was Ratchet Five all along. He was just trolling you all. So there you go. I'm, I'm breaking I'm, that news. I'm I'm more on the side that I thought that was really sad from Dispendal all that time doing that, but um, I'll give him yeah, credit. But he, I guess was wasn't he like what he was like a loser? Like yeah, well yeah, fifty <laughs> years. Well okay, just a loser. <laughs> no, you're a loser, loser. <laughs> <laughs> you want <laughs> okay? Yeah, King of the Hill. King of the Hill reference. Yeah. King of, thank you, Hank. Is that Hank? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you're a loser, loser. (laughs) Well, a bodily big baby or something. Time, time to watch ten seasons of King of the Hill now. Yeah, Um, I think so. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, no, uh, yeah. So that he is the account now. He didn't keep. He kept that around for ages without letting anyone know who he was. So that's the big reveal, in case you didn't know. But yeah, that's it. We've gone. We've gone for a long enough time. Spyro may be dead right now, but the commentary shall live on for a while and i i'd say i'd say look forward to it because i think it's going to be very i think it's going to be interesting that's for sure and that's it yep and and i just want to say um it's my game sendy on bold there you go there's some irish for you oh yeah uh, i understood that <laughs> i got it yep i get it yep. i get it <laughs>